Hey Bulls fans, Adam Harry here with another Bulls review. Today we have what everybody has probably already seen, 7th edition Warhammer 40k. But I want to go over what you're getting today in the box and I want to talk about something that everybody else is ignoring and that is the actual product itself. I'm not going to talk about rules, um, I want to focus on the books and what your money is actually getting you with this review. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump in and get started here. So again, right here what we have is the cover sleeve, as you can see. Um, it actually comes with the three books. You got the rules, Dark Millennium, uh, Galaxy of War, in reverse order there. Um, I want to pull this out and then uh, I want to show you guys something cool. This is actually really high quality stuff. So this is a cover sleeve, this is my little thing there. This is a cover sleeve, um, it's actually really high quality. These books, are probably good, good weight to them, they're hefty. As you can see there, there's no bending or folding. Like this is not your mom's cover sleeve. This is a real solid piece of, of cover sleeve for you. So really high quality there. Um, as you can see the different artwork, they got Dark Angels on the front there. Some Dark, or some, uh, some Eldar Love, Dark Eldar Love. Chaos Love, all right, that new, new guy there. And then of course the Poster Boys, Ultramarines, they gotta be there too. So, I'm gonna go through these books. Um, rule book, obviously. I want to point out that altogether, uh, for your money, you're getting about 450 plus pages of stuff, full color, um, really high quality paging. Again, it's better than the magazine quality stuff. I really like it overall. So, um, again, full color, reference section. What everybody's going to love is the index. So, anyway, good quality stuff there. I want to go more over these two books because, again, you already know what you're getting with the rule book. There's no surprise there. What are you getting with these two books? So, uh, kind of fun stuff here. I'm gonna pause real fast and lay these out a little bit better. So, be right back. All right, so I've got the two books laid out that I wanna show off more. Um, again, first thing I wanna point out is the super high quality of these books. They're hardbacks, full color. Um, you know, you are definitely getting some high quality stuff. The paper itself is more of a magazine quality paper. Uh, it feels nice, uh, as it should, for the, uh, for the price you're paying for this. But uh, I really like it. I like the fact that you have three books. That way, when I go to game, I can just take the rule books. I can take the rule book with me. But when I'm when I'm sitting at home, or if I have a friend that's maybe seen my modeling collection and goes, "Hey, what is that? What what is, what what's up with these plastic dude men you like to play around with?" I go, "Oh, cool. There's a game called Warhammer, but I've got some books that I can show off to them. Do I have a buddy that really wants to check out the models, or or likes that stuff? Galaxy War is where it's at. It's Warhammer Visions on crack. Um, it's got." actual text in there, but it's also just a lot of really pretty pictures, uh, something I think we can all agree that GW does well. Um, and then if I have a friend that's more of an RPG guy, he likes to read about the background, he wants to learn the histories of stuff, uh, that's what the Dark Millennium book is for. It is the full, you know, official background. There's also tons of pictures in here both. Um, I did put a sticky note in here because I have a very special call out to make over here. Mike, your Imperial Fists are awesome. Uh, I follow this guy on Instagram. I got to watch the whole process of him actually putting together this diorama and these, these models that look gorgeous. Uh, Yardstick on Instagram. Um, I'll put a put a link down there, but give him a follow. You know, check him out. This stuff is amazing. So, any, anyway, uh, again, this book itself is Warhammer Visions on crack. It's a little bit of advertising, but really, it's just showcasing all the cool models um, that you know I think we can all agree are pretty awesomely painted and just look amazing. Uh, they show off the new uh, Ultramarine Strike Force stuff. It goes through there, gets some Xenos love for you. Just amazing overall quality. I really like this book. This this is your coffee table book. This is the book that you give to your buddy that just wants to look at models and pretty pictures. All right, then over here we actually have the uh, the background book. You know, this is kind of like why I play the game because uh, you know, in five years when 10th edition comes out, uh, these two books are going to be resources that I can go back to and kind of flip back and and and, and reread those. But the rules. Unfortunately, will be invalidated, but these books are forever, except for retcons, or necrons, I mean tau, I mean retcons, I said retcons, right? So, <laughs> anyway, I have smaller books I can give to my buddy, uh, like I was saying earlier. So, what's in this book, let me form I'm babbling here. So, this again, background fluff. And this is where you draw the narrative from, this is where you get your inspiration from, for historical battles if you want to do that, or if you want to find a theme for an army, this is the book that you would use for that. You know, if you want to find out, you want to replay the battle of, of Yark versus Gosgul, you can totally do that. Uh, if you want to do some Imperial Fist action on, on some, some Iron Warriors, this is the book for it. Some Nid action, fighting demons, whatever, man. This is the book where you'll find all that fun 
background stuff that you know a lot of people do like to actually read so um yeah those are the two books this i think is where you're going to get your money um obviously you know some people do like the rules and there's a lot of negative answers out there right now saying the rules whatever but these two books are really cool um i wish people would get more excited about some of the other stuff besides the rules because again people do still enjoy this game for the models for the hobby for the painting of it and i happen to be one of those people i still like to throw dice don't get me wrong but uh i mean i do enjoy the game for this this reason right here so again this is adam here another bold review if you have any uh, questions comments you know drop them in there uh if you want to uh be nice and throw us a like subscribe i'd appreciate it let us know what you like let us know what we can change for the future but again this is adam here for bowl signing off